from the time of Passover or the time of the resurrection of Jesus, why did God wait 50 days, hmm. the number of Jubilee, right. 50 days to give on Shavuot, the Torah, the Ten Commandments, mm. the Bible, yes. and on the day of Pentecost, the start of the church, the Holy Spirit. Why 50 days? Wow. When you understand this, I guarantee you, it will change your life forever. We'll be right back. We count 50 days from the resurrection of Jesus yeah. till God released the power of God, the grace of God, the Holy Spirit yeah. of God. In, in Egypt, from the time of Passover to 50 days, yeah. this was called Shavuot, right. which is the day that God gave the world the Bible. Ooh, and I think day. a lot of people, before we get into why the 50 days, Tiz, you talk about it all the time. I think a lot of people think that Pentecost started <laughs> uh, in the book of Acts book when of in Acts. reality yeah. it started, it, its first expression was right. when the Israel, Israel, Israelites came out of Egypt. Right. And I think, you know, as many believers, you're not really taught about Pentecost. All you know of it is, well, that's the day the Holy Ghost fell. Right in the book of Acts. And so that's, you're missing the whole gist of it, really. You're missing the whole point of yeah. it. And you know, if there's ever, let me say this, and I'm gonna explain why the 50 days, but let me say this. If there has ever been a time that the world needs a oh, refilling yes. Yes. of the power of God, Amen. it is right now. I, I'm just gonna yes. speak for America. We need a visitation of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You need, whether you're in America or the world, you need a revisitation, a refilling yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Now, and I wanna get into the details because the understanding of the 50 days is so important, but I feel a prophetic anointing on me right mm. now. Whether it's for your home, your marriage, your family, your business, your personal life, you need, we need, the world yeah. needs a refilling of the Holy Spirit. And I think because of the lack of welcoming the Holy Spirit yeah. into our church services or into our lives over the last many, many years, we've yeah. gotten away from the Holy Spirit. I think the lack of the power of God, when the, on the day of Pentecost have fully come, they were in one mind, in one accord, in one place. Why? They were there for that appointed time of Shavuot. They were there for that appointed time right. of the outpouring of God's spirit. They were there for the second first fruit offering of the year. We brought a first fruit offering on uh, on Passover, on Resurrection Sunday. Now we bring another first fruit. They're yeah. there, but it's it's beyond even the offering Right. On the day of Pentecost, we say this all the time, God is God 24-7. Yeah. But on these appointed times, yes. there is something that God is doing Absolutely. that God is ready to do yeah. for us, yeah. for you, yeah. that is exceedingly abundantly yes. above anything we can ask yeah. or think for the rest of the year. Yeah. During the time of Shavuot, during the time of Pentecost, the Bible, and I'll read this, the Bible says they brought two loaves. Right. Why are those two loaves? Because this is when God opens the windows of heaven yeah. and he pours out two specific blessings right. Right. That, are we, what, that we must have Amen. to walk in the favor of yeah. God. Two loaves, and I'll read this in a moment, but the one loaf is about the power of God. Yeah. We need Amen. the power yes, of God back yes. in the church. Yes. We need, you know, uh, I, I told this story last Sunday in our service here uh, in Dallas 
that um, Pastor Scott and I and Truett were over filming in Israel during yeah. the time of Pentecost. Right. And we're figuring out how, how are we gonna film this? Uh, we had a group with us. How are we gonna film this down in the temple steps? Uh, because there's gonna be thousands of people right. there. We got there early in the morning. There's nobody there. Yeah. There was, there's nobody, you would right. think that Jerusalem would be packed day. out yeah. during the time of Pentecost, right. but God showed us, and there was hardly any tourists there. Right. God showed us that we have allowed the power of yeah. God, the Holy Spirit of God right. to be removed from right. our midst. Right. And so the one loaf represents the power of God, the Amen. anointing. Yes. The second loaf, and we're going to talk a lot about this this month, because every time God moves yeah. spiritually, he always moves financially. Amen. And this is not a gimmick. Yeah. This is not the old prosperity message oh. of a gimmick. This is Malachi 3, return in me and I'll yeah. return in you. How do we return? In tithes and in offerings. Yeah. The offerings is three times a year. We come before the Lord and we don't come empty handed. So I'll read the scripture. I'm going to get to it. But when we come before the Lord on Pentecost, there has been a preparation for 50 days mm. getting to this moment. Yeah. God says, count 50 days, lift up two loaves. One loaf yeah. represents the power of God. We must have the power of God. The second loaf represents prosperity. Amen. When Israel, when the Israelites on, on Passover tis left Egypt, yeah. they not only left because of the miracle power of God and the 10 plagues, they left with all the That's silver right. and the gold. That's but right. listen to this. But God said before the next offering, yeah. I want you to wait 50 days. And when we get back, we're going to talk about this. Why 50 days? Because they had to go from a slave mentality yes, yes. of barely getting yeah. by. Yeah. And we'll talk about this over the next yep. several weeks. When, they, when we bring the offering on Passover, on Resurrection yeah. Sunday, it's a barley offering. Right, right. But 50 days later, and, and, and the scripture says, count up. Right. It's a rising up. Yes. It's literally an I aliyah of I going up, going from the mindset yep. of a slave yep. to the child of God, going, right. from, going from trusting Egypt, yeah. the government, right. Wall Street, going from trusting them yes. to trusting God I to being that. Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. And we're going to get into this in the next several weeks. But this is not only an amazing time. This is, when we're talking about the power of God, and when we're talking about the prosperity of God, yeah. this Shavuot, this Pentecost, yes. this first fruit offering is the most important offering. And, mm. and coming out of COVID, we need God to yes. bring prosperity yes. back to it. And we've yes. got, I'm going to be honest, we've got people fighting prosperity in government, they're trying to, they're, right. you, you, you know what a cult does? A cult makes you afraid and yep. a cult keeps you poor. Yeah. We need to realize that our trust, listen to me, our trust yeah. is not in Washington That's right. or Wall Street. Our trust is in the one who delivered us from Absolutely. Egypt, who rose yes. again from the dead. Yes. Our trust in his almighty God. And that's why not only do we receive an offering, right. this is, this is spiritual breakthrough time. This is financial breakthrough yeah. time. But God has spoken to us yeah. that to take from your offering an offering to the nation of Israel Absolutely. to stand with and be a blessing. And we've been doing this yeah. for a lot of years Amen. during this time. Our, the, 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 some of the most wonderful people yes. in the world that have gone through things that you and I can never imagine. imagine. We're taking a first food offering. We're giving it to yeah. the nation of Israel and to several different cities Amen. to stand with Holocaust survivors Amen. That, that won't survive unless somebody helps okay. them. Now, I want to talk about them when we get back, but listen to me. There is, there, I don't think there's anything more precious. 
I mean, we're doing so many yeah. projects. We have orphanages. We have homes in Haiti. We feed 50,000 meals to children in Africa. We've got a feeding program in Cuba yeah. now. Yeah. We're doing all these things. But, and we do the Alia project. Right. We do the hospitals. We do the schools in, in, in Israel. But when it comes to being a blessing yeah. to the children of Israel who are Holocaust survivors, but we just finished doing a project with Holocaust survivors yeah. for Passover yeah. because of you. Yes. And because of COVID, they had to leave the boxes on the, uh, right. on on the, the doorstep. On the doorstep. Yeah. And on every box, it has from New Beginnings Church right. and Larry Huck Ministries. Yeah. And the people that we work with in Israel said, these Jewish people, you understand, they're eating <laughs> these Holocaust survivors. survivors are eating because yeah. of you. And they saw not only are Christians yeah. loving them, but Christians yeah. loving them during Passover. Yeah. You talk about tearing down the walls, yeah. the divide. Yeah. Listen, this is a time in which God pours out his power yes. and he pours out his prosperity. Yes. But this is a time that I, I believe in all my heart is gonna be a double yeah. blessing because of the time we're in and because of you standing yes. with the nation of Israel and Holocaust survivors. Yeah. Listen to our announcer and Tiz and I will be right back. The appointed time for you to receive the Pentecost outpouring of blessing is passing by right now. God is ready to confirm his word in your life with signs, wonders, and miracles. As you're learning from Pastors Larry and Tiz, it's your Pentecost first fruits offering that connects you with all that God has promised. Today, your offering will accomplish something very holy and very prophetic. You'll be blessing Holocaust survivors in Israel that urgently need our help. Most have struggled their whole lives because of the Holocaust. And as Christians, we are committed to honoring them with practical and spiritual support. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to show our appreciation by sending you Pastor Larry's incredibly important teaching series, Pentecost, The Power to Prosper. This amazing teaching on audio CD and DVD will reveal to you God's plan at Pentecost to prosper you in every area of life. With your offering of $135 or more, Pastors Larry and Tiz will include one of their favorite books, Thou Shall Prosper, by dear friend Rabbi Daniel Lappin. This popular hardcover edition is a biblical and practical approach to creating wealth based on the established principles of the Bible. It's highly endorsed by Dave Ramsey and will lead you into the prosperity and blessing of God. We deeply admire New Beginnings Church for making it possible for you all to obtain your own life transforming copy of Thou Shall Prosper and stepping onto the beginning of the path of transforming your destiny along His way. With your offering of $500 or more to support Holocaust survivors, we will add this extraordinary edition of the Complete Jewish Study Bible. It's a unique and insightful Judeo-Christian translation that retains the original Hebrew meaning of the scriptures. You'll find in-depth commentary from both Jewish and Christian sources that will enrich your study of God's Word like no other translation. Finally, if you're able to sow a first fruits offering of $1,000 or more, we want to add this dramatic illuminated Torah, a favorite of Pastor Larry and Tiz. This impressive rendition of the first five books of the Bible has the original Hebrew text presented side by side with the English translation. Each page is skillfully and beautifully illustrated, and we can assure you this entire collection of resources will bless you for years to come. Please take a moment right now and call our ministry to pledge your support for these precious Holocaust survivors. Simply call our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. You can also visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. Sow your offering and select your thank you gifts there. Or if you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to call right now, 800 978-8546.
In these last days, when all the signs point to the coming of the Lord, there is no better offering than when it's for blessing Israel. Together, we can provide essential care and comfort to these beautiful Jewish people so they can live out their final years in dignity. Please let us hear from you before the anointed time of Pentecost passes by. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being a blessing. We appreciate your prayers and faithful support and for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now, let's rejoin pastors Larry and Tiz. We were talking before we came out and filmed, and so many of you uh, give especially during first fruits, but yeah. all year long to be a blessing to the nation of Israel. Yeah. And we have some amazing things coming up. Yes. And I want to tell you, I want to thank you in advance. We want to thank you in advance for giving. We feel like we, we just sent a, a check yeah. uh, to Israel to, to Israel for, I think, $350,000, mm -hmm. something like that. And then some more for Holocaust and some right. more for, and I, we feel like we need to raise another 500,000, yeah. not, not only for, um, the Holocaust survivors, but for more Aliyah to bring Jews in. Mm. And so many of you say, you know, we just want to bless Israel. Yeah. We want to bless the, yeah. you, uh, Pastor Larry and Tiz. And you don't necessarily want the gifts, but I want you to look at these gifts that we have real these quick. Awesome. This, this is a, this is the complete Jewish study Bible. This is an amazing, yeah, amazing is. work. It's got a lot of commentary, commentary. in it by, by reading the yeah. Bible through the eyes of a Jewish Amen. Jesus. And then we've got Rabbi, Rabbi Lappin. I probably study oh, Rabbi Lappin's teachings a hundred times more than yeah. anybody else. Yeah. Because Rabbi is a brilliant, brilliant yeah. scholar. Uh, we've got this for you. And here's a special book. Oh, if you can lift that this. up, baby. Um, we first saw this, I think, either on our first trip or second I, trip. It was the first trip we ever went to Israel, and we saw this. And we fell in love with oh, this. And this is, this is just quality. It's yes, the Torah. It's, so it's cool. got it in English and Hebrew. It's got pictures in here. It, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And, and we want to give these to you to be, to be a blessing. But uh, Can I just say one thing? Please. As you... Uh, step up and are a part of these projects. You know, we're talking today about Pentecost, the Lord pouring out his spirit into the world. And when you are a part of these, God is literally pouring that spirit through you to touch the hearts of these people. And we just want to say, Thank you and God bless you so much. Yeah, we could we could not we do, couldn't do it. What we're doing. And you know, in 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 standing up for the nation of Israel, I know I got to get into the teachings of the 50 days, but in standing up for the nation of Israel, do you understand what you're doing? Yes, God says, yeah. uh, the, the, the avolt of all blessings, Genesis 12, yeah. I will, the father of all right, blessings, right. the birthing of all blessings is, yeah. I will bless those who bless Amen. you, Israel. Yeah. That's the father of all blessings. And so we know by you standing with the nation of Israel, whether it's Aliyah, whether it's the Holocaust, yeah. these precious people, the Holocaust survivors, Amen. whatever it is, God will bless you. But yeah. get, And I hope you understand this. It's even deeper than that. Mm. Because if you read Ephesians, yeah. the two shall become one. Mm. You, you think about the Holocaust survivors being blessed by your gifts yes. of food and clo and housing and everything. Yeah. And we've met with them so oh. many times and we will continue oh. to meet with them. I'm excited because I just got word from Israel that the borders, you're seeing this a, a, a few weeks later, the borders of Israel are opening up and where we're gonna be able to get back into Israel again Amen. and be with these Holocaust yes. survivors and be with these people returning oh. to Aliyah. But um, think about, what, what God said in Ephesians 2, the two, Jews and Gentiles, will become one. Yes. What you're doing by standing yeah. with Israel, the Holocaust survivors went through so much that they went through because the teaching of hatred yes. against Jews right. by the church. By the church. And yeah. now you, not only are giving and God opens yes. the windows of heaven over you, but now you are repairing the breach. Exactly. The, what you're doing mm. is repairing relationships yeah. with Jews and Gentiles right. 
and this must happen for the return yeah, of the Messiah. I was just going to say, it's end time prophecy. It's end time prophecy. That was prophesied and is happening right now. And yeah. we're a part of it. Yes. We're a part. We're a living role in end time prophecy. You know, I, I, I want to teach, I want to teach <laughs> on the 50 days. The 50 days was to go from, from a slave mentality, trusting the world, trusting yeah. Egypt. Yep to a child of God mentality. And, right. and, and I want to get into that, but I, I, want to, I just want to say something about repairing the breach. Yeah. Just think about the, holo, the horrors of the Holocaust and what these precious people have gone through so much because of what the church yeah. taught. But the end time prophecy is, is that not only would the Jews return to Israel, yeah. but the Gentiles will be a part of that. Yeah. You know, we were at a, we were at one of our, we, we work with a couple feeding places and, mm -hmm. and fellowship and community yes. places in Beautiful. Haifa, Israel. Absolutely. And, and we were there filming and this little lady, this little Holocaust survivor, I think she was 96 years old, yeah walks down the block, she's got a walker and she comes and eats and fellowships. We help sponsor that. Yeah. But then she gets to take a meal home every night. Yeah. And so we, we were outside and she had been listening to us talking. Yeah. And she, all of a sudden she says in Hebrew, uh, I want to hug him. <laughs> and we're standing there and, and I understood what she said. And I think she goes, I want to hug you. And she knows that I'm a pastor. She knows that I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm but she could hear yeah. the words that we were talking about yes. and knew that we loved them. Absolutely. Yes, God will open the windows of heaven. Yeah. Yes, this is a time of prosperity. Yes, yes. this is a time of the anointing. But there's, there's, no, there's no price that could be paid for what I felt from this yeah. precious lady. Yeah. And we get what, what was being used yeah. to destroy them. Yeah is now giving them dignity yes. and joy yes. and all of a sudden realizing those who were the enemy yeah. is now their partners Amen. in their life. Amen. You know, this is a time that God says, I will open the windows of heaven. Yeah. And, and you know, no matter what we, no matter what we did, yeah. when you give to bless Israel, the windows of heaven open up. Absolutely. But there's, a, some, there's something special about taking, you know, this one, and we're almost done. There's one place that we work with and they do so much with them. And I say, mm -hmm. why do you do so much? Yeah. And they said, because these people had no childhood. Right. They had no joy. Their life didn't begin with joy. Yeah. But we want to make sure Amen. it ends with joy. Yes. You know, just talking to me and I know we got to go and we'll be right back to pray with you. Ends with joy. You're mm. giving them joy. Do you know on the first step of climbing up, to right. Pentecost, right. the first step, which I was going to right. teach today, That's right. is the step of joy. Amen. The blessing of God is going to, man, I feel the anointing God. I feel the anointing yeah. God. The blessing of God is going to be so strong in you. Thank you for being Amen. a blessing yes. to the nation of Israel. Yes. Climb up. You. you are a child of God. The appointed time for you to receive the Pentecost outpouring of blessing is passing by right now. God is ready to confirm His Word in your life with signs, wonders, and miracles. As you're learning from Pastors Larry and Tiz, it's your Pentecost First Fruits offering that connects you with all that God has promised. Today, your offering will accomplish something very holy and very prophetic. You'll be blessing Holocaust survivors in Israel that urgently need our help. Most have struggled their whole lives because of the Holocaust. And as Christians, we are committed to honoring them with practical and spiritual support. With your Pentecost offering of any size today, we want to show our appreciation by sending you Pastor Larry's incredibly important teaching series, Pentecost, The Power to Prosper. This amazing teaching on audio CD and DVD will reveal to you God's plan at Pentecost to prosper you in every area of life. 
With your offering of $135 or more, Pastors Larry and Tiz will include one of their favorite books, Thou Shall Prosper, by dear friend Rabbi Daniel Lappin. This popular hardcover edition is a biblical and practical approach to creating wealth based on the established principles of the Bible. It's highly endorsed by Dave Ramsey and will lead you into the prosperity and blessing of God. With your offering of $500 or more to support Holocaust survivors, we will add this extraordinary edition of the Complete Jewish Study Bible. It's a unique and insightful Judeo-Christian translation that retains the original Hebrew meaning of the scriptures. You'll find in-depth commentary from both Jewish and Christian sources that will enrich your study of God's Word like no other translation. Finally, if you're able to sow a first fruits offering of $1,000 or more, we want to add this dramatic illuminated Torah, a favorite of Pastor Larry and Tiz. This impressive rendition of the first five books of the Bible has the original Hebrew text presented side by side with the English translation. Each page is skillfully and beautifully illustrated, and we can assure you this entire collection of resources will bless you for years to come. Please take a moment right now and call our ministry to pledge your support for these precious Holocaust survivors. Simply call our toll-free number at 800-978-8546 and speak with one of our friendly operators. You can also visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv. So your offering and select your thank you gifts there. Or if you prefer, you can mail in your offering to the address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to call right now, 800 800- 978-8546. In these last days, when all the signs point to the coming of the Lord, there is no better offering than when it's for blessing Israel. Together, we can provide essential care and comfort to these beautiful Jewish people so they can live out their final years in dignity. Please let us hear from you before the anointed time of Pentecost passes by. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being a blessing. We appreciate your prayers and faithful support and for standing with us as we stand with Israel. Now, let's rejoin pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, this week we're going to talk about climbing the ladder. We call it the ladder of success going from a slave mentality to the mentality that you and I are the children of the living God. And, you know, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. It's not a coincidence you're watching right now. You know, when you sow a seed, you reap a harvest. And as we were just talking, we don't use a teleprompter, nothing wrong with that, but we just let the Holy Spirit move us. And we're talking about when that little Holocaust lady hugged us or we sat with, we've sat and our kids so have sat many. with so yes. many of these people and th- they show us love. Yeah. They, they want to, they, they love us and, and, and the joy that we feel, feel yeah. in that God would lead us to be a blessing to these precious, to precious people in the end of their lives. Yes. And the first step in climbing the 50 days, seven Seven weeks, seven times seven, 49, and the last is jubilee. The first step is joy. When you give to bless these wonderful people, the joy of God on your home, your finances, your life, you're climbing up because when you sow joy, Don't you know you're going to reap joy? We're going to talk about this next week. We're almost out of time. We want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, on our nation, on our lives, on everyone watching right now, on all the gifts, Father, we release the double anointing of joy, of power, of prosperity, of anointing in every area. area. In Jesus' name, amen Amen. and amen. Thank you so much for blessing the nation of Israel. We love Love you guys. Bye-bye.